Hello, my internet friends, NapYet here. Just wanted to say thank you for watching this episode of Skyrim Modded for Immersion. I really appreciate it. Just wanted to send this quick message because I've done something kind of weird in this episode. There are some clues in this episode that lead to a secret bonus episode. There are three clues. I've seeded them throughout the episode. Seeded them. <laughs> they, they're gonna grow. Maybe they grow into a secret. Uh, but like I say, there are three clues uh, throughout this episode. String those three together and they will give you an answer. I'm not going to be any more specific than that, than that, what kind of clues they are or what kind of sort of field of answer it is. But once you've got the answer, apply it and you'll be able, it will show you how to access that additional video. So this is not a video that you have to watch. It's not in the normal flow of the series, but it's something that has allowed me to use, like I say, some different skills, different editing techniques to tell a different kind of story. And it keeps things interesting for me, but also hopefully gives you something extra. I would like to do more of these episodes and people have been saying we want more. I can't really do it any faster than I'm already doing it, like one a week, but I can do these bonus things every now and again. Use the comments. You're all awesome. People talk badly about YouTube comments, and maybe once you've got millions of subscribers, you do get some trolls. But my experience so far has been, you guys, you're all awesome. So the comment section is there for you to talk to each other and to figure figure it out if you're missing a clue, maybe. Um, but like I say, so do that. Definitely do that if you if you feel interested. But like I say, don't have to just watch the flow of the series if you like but uh, it's there for you guys who are really interested so thank you for watching again hope you enjoy figuring out three clues in the episode put those three clues together they will give you an answer that will direct you to the bonus episode all right i've been nap yet thank you thank you thank you seem to be doing nothing but saying thank you maybe it's because i genuinely am grateful <laughs> so yeah Try doing it. You never know. Adept is probably too much for me. 170 gold. Oh, it's worth it. There we go. Well, you shouldn't have really left that there. You should have known better. Someone's going to nick it, aren't they? Right, let's have a look at our skills. I, I want to I wanna have everything. I want to have everything. That's my problem. I'm very, very tempted to go for the next level of restoration so I can at least use my healing spells for a decent amount of time before they I could use both of the healing spells I've got at the minute a lot before you know I run out of magicka apprentice I might go for fast healing where it heals the caster for 50 points so I might swap out my let's uh, favorite that Swap out those healing spells. I think that's going to be better than what I had. And what was the other thing I was going to do before we shut the door behind her before she tries to leave? Oh, shitting hell. Right, well, come and arrest me then because. Yeah, I'm. It was a mistake and I'd shut the door, so I don't know how you caught me. I'll pay the bounty. What a load of bullshit. And crime bullshit. They're trying to that's what happens when you try to trap Sarania in uh, Come in a room with, with you. We'll take the fates don't look kindly on that. After you pay the fine, of course. Right, you can sleep on your own. You can sleep on your own, you vampire. The hearty baked potato breakfast and we're gonna move. Welcome to the winking right, skiver. Fill my friend. bottles up. Why is it called the winking skiver? Well, as it turns out, I had a pet skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. Very amusing. Ha ha! Apple cabbage. Right, yeah, I do like the stews. An apple dumpling. Bows do 5% more damage, and it's a light snack. It's a buff, but I, I need it for my hunger, really. Butter? You're going to eat a bowl of butter? Blah. I've just remembered. Didn't what's-his-name in Windhelm give me a thing to, to take his... Take somebody's stuff? Rise in the east, rise in the east. I'll just check some of my quests here. Is there anything in solitude? 
think that was it. Deliver Adonato's book and investigate the Bard's College. To Girod. I think that was in solitude. Let's just have a look outside. What's this place? Is this the general store? Hello, I'm Gisley. But you can just call What's me Erica's your, sister. Wrong with your bloody eyes. Welcome to the center of the world. Or at least my brother Erica's world. You, got, you don't get on with your siblings, do you? It's none of my business. Oh, it's none of my business. What delight. Another charming customer. Piss off. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't mind. Really. What a fucking Our asshole. Breaches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. Right. Whatever. What I would like is a roll of paper and I can make a, another water skin. Finally. Piss off. It's like walking into one of those posh shops on the high street. They want you to leave. Well, if you look like me. Scales. This might be bits and pieces. This sounds like a possibility. Let's see what you've got to sell. Oh, there you are. Fearing oh, a red, red guard. Just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Hmm. Were you at room? No. Yes. That was an ugly affair. High King Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you mm. and me, he wasn't even that good a king. All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. So you're not bad. So you're not upset that he's dead. We do need to learn about all Baron's this stuff, don't I? He works because the forge up at Castle where Tower. do people side? What's Baron's going on in this city? What with him filling orders for the army. Well, that's a shame. A bit of this and a bit of that. Would you buy a bit of my crap? Doesn't look like we can say, sell those dog deathhound collar. There we go. And sell sell those. They're no use to me. So many stuff though. So much stuff. Black black mage robes. Ah, these are all the clothes that I picked up. Well, there's only one. I just want a roll of paper. Just give me a roll of paper. Investigate the Barge College. Deliver a, a Donato's book. I think they're both at the Bard's College. So we will just have a have a wander through here because you only visit somewhere f once for the for the first time once. So here we go. I bet this is going to be count as stolen as well. So don't steal it. Here we go. Can't steal it. Can't have it. You know what I'm going to do with it? The taste of home and heart. Look at that. What do you think to that? Didn't steal it. Yeah, now you've got to get filthy getting in the well to get it back. Hey, wanna play tag? No! The blue palace. There's the blue palace. I love the architecture. It's quite extraordinarily nice, isn't it? It's just, I, I mean, I got a friend, love, in uh, Windhelm, Serena, who was... Well, he's not a friend. He's just, he was a ramble. I feel sorry for him, basically, but I'll, I'll give him I'll give him his Welcome stuff. Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Um, I'm not looking to apply to the college. May song speed you along. Yeah, I'm not looking to apply to the college. Hello, yes. I'm the Dean of History and Scribe Work. Hi. I can find some quiet... I've got a book position, for you. Dean of History actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry... Oh, that sounds awesome. Ah, yes. She's at it again, look, new... glaring over his shoulder. Shorter that would be unnerving. Words must be judged on merit. Not like I'll look over this later. Why don't you take this for your trouble? Cheers. Give me all your money. Money is... I suppose I should return to my papers. So I'm going to have that quest, you know, investigate the Bard's College forever. But I wouldn't say I'm looking to join the Bard's College if I'm not looking to join the Bard's College. That's the kind of obtuse person that I am. Well, it looks very nice. But we don't have time for all this, do we, Sarana? We need to get a move on. We're 400 gold, not to be sniffed at. It's so bright out here. I can't see myself ever it. wanting to become a... I'm sorry. We'll, we'll get, look, we'll get a move on. We'll, we're going to visit that god and uh, talk to her. Hey, what have got a little bit of experience with them. I know how to handle gods. You have to kind of pander to them a little bit. It's almost like a child, a spoilt child. Like spoilt children, you pander to them a little bit and... Um, you look new. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. 
<laughs> Not suspicious at all. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? Maybe, maybe. What do you have in mind? That's kind of cool that uh, Serana is from a strategic angle while I talk to him. The last fire will rise behind those eyes. It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground. Or yeah. just left lying Oddments. around in someone's I believe house. I teapots I bet things. the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. Me too. I, I'm no thief. Uh, you know, I feel like saying something different. I don't know. Some kind of influence. I don't know. That voice so clear. I knew why, why do you say like think certain one. things sometimes? Okay, turn off a lighthouse so a ship crashes. I'm a bit more nefarious than I usually would be, but he assures me that the sailors won't die. Can't do it while Serana is here, because we might get into trouble, and I don't want to get her into trouble. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I don't know what to do with that. It, it parodies itself. Where are my bloody horses? I don't know. Maybe they'll. Maybe at some point they'll just appear again. Right. So this is the bring bring Meridia's beacon. What do you think? What do you think uh, we go round there and then? Because it looks like sheer cliff face uh, that way. Let's just have a look. Yeah, I bet you circle round up this road. Let's see how far we can get. Don't know why I'm rushing. There's no rush really, is there? Well, I think I'm rushing because she said she was getting burnt by the sun. She doesn't like the sun. So it just affects you negatively. It obviously doesn't kill them outright. So that's good to know. Oh, these pine trees. This is great. Gonna hit it. Gonna hit it. Doing good with these with my aim today. Better than usual. Shit. No use. There we go. Three out of four shots, not bad. Not bad for me. It may be a fluke. Ruins. Oh. Stuff. Dwarven greatsword. We'll have that. Have that for Stembar. Is it? It's not as good as the hammer. But I kind of like it. They're, they seem fairly rare, those. I'll keep that with me and see if he likes the look of it. Look at this, that Skyrim. Look at that vista. Look at Skyrim in all its glory. <laughs> Good God, woman, giveth me heart attacks. Now, oh, this looks interesting. Like a manor house. Somebody's cool Falmore El Embassy. Ah, here we go. These are the, these are the elves that are overlooking the Skyrim people and the source of the consternation with the Nords slightly. That is why they think you're in their service, you see, because you've got a manor house overlooking your capital. Doesn't look good. Such things do not look, doesn't give the right impression. It's down that way. Oh, spiders. You know, it might be sneak that I need in order to get some of these one hit kills. Got ya. Just a little, it's funny how you kind of challenge yourself, just little challenges like, I've got to kill the, oh, got to kill this guy with arrows. And now I've done that once, so I'm not doing it again. That might be season three's thumbnail. Wallop. Right. Where's this shrine? I've got your marble, lady. Glowing, glowing shrine. See what this crazy gods, another crazy gods, a god to say. I feel like Hercules, or one of these pawns of the gods. Look at my temple lying in ruins. 
So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Restore to me my beacon, that I might guide you toward you. The God of Annoying Weather Effects obviously didn't get the memo. Dramatic bit, and be quiet. To which war do you refer? The current one? The Empire and Skyrim? I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the <laughs> What? Sorry? Do what? Uh, what is this Mortals artifact? I cannot hear a bloody thing. Burning away corruption and false life. You will enter my shrine, destroy Malkarin, and retrieve this mighty... Retrieve what? Retrieve a, a, a flighty maid? But a single candle can banish the darkness of the entire void. I haven't got one though, have I? I haven't even got any oil and for my lamp. Else. My beacon is sure to attract a worthy soul. But if you are wise, you will heed my bidding. I see it's a metaphorical candle. Go now. The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. Malkarin has forced the door shut. But this is my temple and it responds to my... That's a very... Very, very long I way will down. How do I get down? Oh, sugar puffs. Oh dear. Help. <laughs> 